Are you a stability shoe wearer? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you the number one shoe to get for your races. everybody too. Gunpowder Park, Waltham Abbey, Essex. So one of the questions that I get asked the most is, I'm a stability shoe wearer, what's a quick shoe? What's a fast shoe that I can wear on race day for sort of speed sessions and that sort of stuff? Because the shoe brands, as of yet, don't really do, it's called fast shoes for stability wearers. Now, I am a mild pronator. Tobe is a mildish pronator and both of us really enjoy wearing and get a lot out of the Socket Endorphin Pro and Pro 2. And I think it is a shoe, if you're a stability shoe wearer, maybe a mild form of pronation, it could be a winner. So if you don't know about the Socket Endorphin line, You've got the Pro, which is meant to be, or was meant to be, the marathon shoe. And I would say it didn't take off as a marathon shoe for Saucony because of the amazing Nike shoes in terms of the marathon distance and the stuff that came out from Asics. But what we found with the Pro, on my side and Toby, because he's out here doing 20 miles in this today, is that for someone who does need a bit of mild stability, you can get the plate and you can get the speed and you can get a nice stable ride. So I'll put some stats and features up on the screen because I'm never going to remember them while I'm out here. But bottom line, you've got the Power Run PB in the shoe. And the reason I'm filming it out here today, I'm not in the studios because Tobe's got his eyes, so I can show you. But you've got the Power Run PB, you've got a full length plate, you've got a barely there upper, they weigh well under 10 ounces. I can't remember exactly what they weigh, but I'm sure it's about eight something. Um, You've got a true to size fit, I would say. And so would it be fair to say a reasonable outsole? It's not more, down so far. Yeah, it's a bit slippery along here, they're doing all right. So they sort of tick a lot of boxes, but they are firmer than the speed, which is why I think they work. And they're just a little bit with the plate more rigid. And that is the key to this shoe. So I don't know if you can hear me, but if you look at Toad, he's collapsing in on the inside a little bit and rolling on his shoes. Hopefully you'll see that. If not, hopefully you see it in a bit of B-roll. But these really sort of balance out what you would get in a speed um, versus the with the instability because the, the compound's just that little bit firmer, isn't it, Toad? Where's he gone? He's running away from me. He's nine years younger. Um, Toad, talk, because... You've got the speed as well. These are definitely a firmer ride, aren't they? Yeah, you can definitely feel the difference on that. You still get that roll, the speed roll, yeah. but they're just that bit, I don't know, it almost feels like they've got a lower stack. And they're just, yeah, it's just something about the compound. It's, I think it's all to do with the plate, the fact that they've got the carbon plate in there, adding that rigidity in the shoe with the speed roll, it really adds up to a, a quite a stable ride. And that's why I wanted to make the video because you guys are always asking about a, a fast shoe for stability shoe wearers. And for me, personally, I don't think you can go wrong with the Pro or the Pro 2. I would say, because I've seen the Pro 3, that might not be for you. So if you can, get yourself a pair of Pros or Pros 2s, try them out and see how you get on and let me know in the comments. Because I think this shoe is a bit of a secret winner for us to really shoot where it's 